Hey everyone, it's Sunny. This is gonna be my February favorites video. I was actually going to do another iconic blonde this week, but I hadn't realized that it is uh, March 1st on Saturday. So I gotta do February favorites this week and it'll be an iconic blonde next week. The one next week I'm really excited about, I've been meaning to do it for a while. So I'm not gonna reveal yet which one it is, but that'll be next week. I am excited about the products that uh, have been my favorites this month as well. And there's a really kind of even selection of skincare, hair, makeup, nails, so it's a little bit of everything. So um, let's get started. And two quick notes. Uh, first of all, I just recorded the intro and I noticed that, um, like some of you hooded girls out there that have commented on my hooded eyes videos, would have um, said that your hooded eyes are sometimes different amounts hooded. Mine are definitely today. So this is just the reality of living with hooded eyes. Sometimes they're a little bit lopsided. Sometimes one is more hooded than the other. I've been um, I've been ill quite a lot in the last kind of month and a half. Luckily, I wasn't sick for holidays. And when I'm tired or when I'm sick, it's just like one of them is more hooded, one of them is less. So it's real life, but um, the show must go on. And the second note I had was, since I'm going to be here in London until the end of March, I was wondering if there'd be anybody interested in doing a London meetup. Um, I don't even actually know how many people watch me in London and how many people would be interested in meeting up. I know another couple of YouTubers here in London, so that would be fab. Um, so I met up with Baby Cake Cornelia 395, um, Baby Cake a couple of times, and also with uh, Zoe from Little Miss 40, she's lovely too. So um, we could organize a little bit of a meetup if you guys are interested, uh, but let me know below in the comments. Uh, no worries if you're not, <laughs> that's completely fine. But I'm gonna get on with my fab faves. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what is on my face. So let's start with hair. And I've got a new shampoo and conditioner that I have been loving, and it is by Living Proof, and it's their full range. So full shampoo, full conditioner. These are sulfate-free, uh, color safe and sulfate-free. I have been loving. The scent is really nice. Um, it's quite delicate, actually. And I have been always afraid of using shampoos and conditioners that are not specifically nourishing. Um, I felt like, oh, because I process my hair so much. These have, miraculously enough, been really nourishing my hair without weighing it down. Um, and yeah, I do want volume. I've got really fine hair. Even with the extensions, like, um, my hair just tends to, especially on top here where I don't have extensions, tends to be flat. So, loving these. And along with that, uh, I've got a new mask that I love, and it's by Bleach London, and it's called Reincarnation Mask, Hair Dyed, Resurrect, Bleached, or Colored Hair. This one you can get in London in Boots. I don't know if you can get it in America, I have no idea. Probably Boots, you know, out around the UK. Bleach is a London salon, and, and it's super cool. Check out their Instagram feed. Um, I'll put a link below here. Uh, they do amazing hair dyes, like crazy dye. I don't actually go there to have my hair colored, but when I did like a pink rinse a while back, that was from Bleach London. And this mask, I don't remember how much it was, and the price is not on it. This mask is amazing and it was so cheap, like this was probably 10 pounds compared to I usually pay about 40 pounds, like 50 euro for a mask. And it does the job, like it really, really does the job. Uh, my hair feels so lovely with it and for a mask I found it to be really, really like inexpensive. So loving Bleach London, couple of skin things. Uh, my love for Sarah Chapman keeps growing and growing. This is her Skinness's Ultimate Cleanse, and it is an oil-based cleanser, kind of like um, you have the Emma Hardy cleansing balm or Eve Lom, all of those um, that you kind of like work into your face and then you use a hot cloth in her case. It's a lovely little mitten, I love this. Um, and you kind of emulsify it and you rinse it off and it smells amazing it smells so good and this for me it's um i think to me i maybe it's the product maybe it's the mitt it feels like it gets rid of all of the oil because sometimes with that kind of cleansers i do tend to feel like my pores are blocked that i just don't get everything out with this, maybe it's the mitt, maybe it's the cleanser, maybe it just rinses off better, maybe it's the combination, I don't know. The scent is amazing. I'm in love with Sarah Chapman, all of the scents, and I'm still determined to have a facial with her. Quick mention to the Lucas Paw Paw ointment. I took this with me on my ski holiday. I'm almost out, there's like that much left. 
I so love it for any extreme conditions, whether it be hot, windy, cold, amazing product. I'm going to find one of you Australian girls and get them to send some more because I love this. I don't know why you can't get it in this country. Um, it's just a genius product. It doesn't smell so good, but hey. Um, so I have been taking a break from my PMD for maybe two months. Big mistake. I felt like my pigmentation was starting to come up. So this month I've been pack on my um, PMD. My pigmentation's faded again. I don't know, I think I just need to keep on top of it, not take too much break of um, like either doing this or at home peels and stuff like that because my pigmentation comes back. I wish somebody in the 80s had told me to, you know, wear sunscreen, but no. Um, even my mum didn't, I don't know if she was wearing any. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, so PMD, back on Rota, so happy what it's done to my skin. Um, I have a discount code from, I don't know, maybe six months ago. I'm gonna put it down at the bottom. It should still work, they said. It's, you know, uh, like a lifetime code, whatever. Um, if it doesn't, let me know, and I'm gonna contact them. But yeah, love this again. Another thing, before I started using that again, I started um, exfoliating with the, exfoliating? <laughs> with that Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub Fix. This is a hardcore scrub. It really gets rid of like your top layer of skin and I love that. Again, this is an inexpensive product. I think this was under 10 pounds. It has 3% glycolic acid. Um, I was talking to Cornelia, the baby cake 390, I said 395 before. She's baby cake 390 when we met up and she had tried some of the other, other products from Nip and Fab line, wasn't that excited about it. Another friend of mine was the one that recommended this, um, this glycolic scrub and I am loving it. So thank you so much Ray for that. A couple of eye makeup goodies. Um, this had to be in there, the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Just open up, fold out the mirror. So it has one, um, one line of matte shadows and one of sparkly. And what I love about this is that these colors are warm, these colors are cool. So you have everything in one palette. The top layer is amazing for foiling. And I don't even know if this is what they were meaning to do with the brush that comes with it. But the brush is, sorry, it's dirty because I used it today. It's duo sided. This side is uh, natural bristle. This side is synthetic. And the synthetic I'm using for foiling the colors, I mix them with a little bit of water and I am loving it. Uh, such a genius brush invention, little skunk brush. So love that. Uh, another eye, um, two other eye things. Oh no, actually there's two eye brushes as well. Um, I mentioned this brand, not the last video, the video before. Uh, it's a Swedish brand called Makiash, and it is a brand that was started by a modeling agency and it's like a brand by models for models, da 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 da, all of that. Um, I happen to get my hands on it. I'm not a model, as you all know, but um, because I worked with them in doing a couple of videos for their website, not for my channel, just for their website. Um, so I got to try out their products and I'm in love with this mascara. It gives me big lashes. Obviously on top I'm wearing fake lashes right now. Uh, gives me big lashes and it does not smudge. That's the main thing. The brush is, um, it's kind of like an hourglass shape. Hold on. It is kind of like an hourglass shape, but it's not like super hourglassy. The, um, the formula, there's something amazing in the formulation. I just love it. And because this is one of those, uh, the Makiash site is one of those code only sites. You need to be like, I think it's models member get member type thing. But because I did the videos, I have a code for them, even though I'm a non-model. So uh, I'm gonna put it below and uh, yeah, you can try it out if you like. They're pretty inexpensive. I don't remember how much they were. Maybe they're not drugstore. They're kind of between drugstore and maybe the price of like American Mac. Cause Mac in Europe is a lot more expensive than in America. So in Europe, I would say between drugstore and Mac, kind of that area. Uh, in America, I would guess I would compare the prices to about Mac, I guess. Another one of their products is, uh, oh, I need to look up the number of this brush. This brush is, hold on. So it's called number eight eyeshadow blending brush. So it's like a 217, but actually the way that it's tapered, it just works really well for a precise crease, but you can still got blendability, insanely soft. I love it. I use it uh, pretty much almost every single day. So I'm really happy with this brush. And what I 
don't like. I wish they had numbers printed here. I fed back to them and said, please print numbers. It does say maquillage, but it's one of those kind of black on black prints, which looks cool, but you guys won't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, love this brush. Another brush love for an even more precise crease is the Louise Young 3, uh, 38A brush amazing crease work. Louise Young does brilliant brushes for um, eye. eyes. I do actually like them for face as well, but especially for eyes, but this has been a love this month. Um, love it. I think that was it for eye makeup. Um, face. This combo. So Rimmel um, Fix and Perfect Pro and Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation, Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow. I've been needing anti-fatigue this month because I have been feeling ill. My color is uh, 200 Soft Beige. Uh, love it. It's perfect for right now. I'm an NC25. I go up to about, I guess, NC30 in the summer. I try not too much, but I do. Um, they, on me, they last really well. I wouldn't say it lasts as well as Studio Fix or something like that, but they do last throughout the whole day. But um, I would say that they're best for, if your skin is very, very dry, probably don't bother. If your skin is very oily, don't bother. I mixed, great for me. Um, the primer, I've tried this with other products as well, works great. Uh, and I'm kind of, I'm not a drugstore foundation girl, apart from Bourjois Healthy Mix. Uh, and this has been quite pleasant for me to discover that I do love it. Lips, so I have been after, Num this is the uh, Hourglass Femme Nude. Um, they have a collection of six nude lipsticks. I have been after the number six forever. Can't find it anywhere. So I ended up, I cracked and I bought number three, which is a little bit paler than the number six, but I have been loving this. It looks so cute. I need to show you. It's like a little pencil. This is my first foray into Hourglass uh, lipsticks. You can't get them in Paris, so I thought I might as well treat myself while I'm here in London. Um, I love the shape of it. Um, it's great. I'm still after the number six because I really, really want it. But this is a kind of a more of a, because I thought I did dark eyes. So I um, I did a little bit of a paler lip. So I'm a little bit more, I don't know, 60s-y, I guess. Love that. Then, oh, speaking of eyes, I forgot to say. Today, I'm wearing the Girls Aloud Nicola Fake Lashes. Now, these used to be my all-time favorite lashes. They don't uh, they don't as much open your eyes up as kind of elongate. They're really long here in the outer corners. I'll look down if you can see properly. Uh, I used to wear these all the time. I wore them on my wedding day. I like I always, always wore these. And then I kind of, I don't know, I kind of forgot about them. I started venturing into lash extensions, which I do love as well, um, using different kinds of lashes. And uh, the reason why I remembered these again was... Um, Lisa from Lisa Lisa D1, I'll put a link to her channel in case you're not subscribed, you should be. <laughs> uh, she commented on a really old video of mine called The Guest Ad Girl. I'll put a link to that video as well below. And uh, just said something about the video that she still liked, uh, really loved the look. And I started watching the video again and I went, oh my God, I've so forgotten about these lashes. Um, so um, I went straight to Boots, bought some more and I'm back in love because I think I've been wearing more lashes that really open up your eyes, so kind of like the elongating to the side seems new and exciting for me again. Just three little hands and nails thing. Number one is the Tisserand Hand and Nail Cream. I'm using this every night. I'm putting it on right now because I love the smell so much. It is, what is this? It's intensive, but it is essential oil rich with orange blossom, rose, and sandalwood. Oh my God, the smell is just, unbelievable it just like for me it's the perfect nighttime smell it just seems to <laughs> send me to sleep it's, it's quite rich but it does sink in so I could use it during the day but this for me is just perfect for the evening I've got a small cordelie that I carry along with me but love 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 it two nails things um, Chanel taboo what is this called 583 Taboo. It's a purple that reflects gold. It also reflects a little bit of kind of pinky purple, like a colder purple. Um, I'm in love with it. I, uh, I actually loved it so much that I bought for somebody else on ski holiday just now because I thought they would really love it as well. Hope you do love it, Naomi. Um, but um, I guess she will. I hope you do. Uh, anyways, uh, I love it and I've been wearing it tons. It's on my toes as well. And then another nail product, it is the Elegant Touch Express um, Press-On 
nails in that little cute heart design. Does it have a name for the heart design? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't say, oh, trend, empty heart. Aw. Um, I've been wearing them as accent nails and then also on all of my nails. It was the month of love because it was February. I was sick for Valentine's Day, but apart from that, um, yeah, so I've been wearing these a lot. I love, I'm, I'm having this moment with like those press on nails. They only last about a day or two on me. I don't care because it's just so quick and easy to change your nails and they look so good. So yeah, that was it. So if you're not interested in what's on my face, thank you so much for watching and let me know if you're interested in a London meetup or not in the comments below. And if uh, if you are interested, keep watching. So as, um, as a primer and foundation, I do have the Rimmel um, Fix and Perfect Pro in 002 and also the Wake Me Up Foundation in 200 Soft Beige. And under my eyes, I have my Garnier Roll-On. This is my go-to. It's probably not the best for me, but it's my go-to. I just, I, I just always have it with me. Um, I have a couple of spots still on my chin, so I covered them with the NYX HD uh, Photogenic Concealer in a medium. And um, uh, as my powder is Hourglass Diffused Light. Then uh, on my cheeks. I don't have it here right now. On my cheeks I have Max Casual Color in Have a Lovely Day that I love and it was a limited edition. It's like a pinky mauve um, cream blush. I'm so sorry. I keep mentioning it and I hate it because it's like it's a limited edition. As a highlighter I have Laura Mercier. Love this highlighter in Highlight 01. <laughs> and I also I'm wearing the Chanel Le Beige in 30. This is too light for me in the summer, but right now it's perfect. And then on my eyes, full exposure. So I've got the, hold on, what are these colors? Oh God, they have, they don't have names. They have those, I don't know. Well, I have, I have the really light one on my brow bone. All over my lid, I have this one, which is very similar to Max Patina. And then in the inner corner, I have a mixture of the two lightest glittery ones and then in my crease I have a I have this one which is the S2 and a little bit of black and then under my eyes I also have um, Charlotte Tilbury's black coal so I mixed it with the black so under my eyes um, and I actually smudged a little bit on my waterline as well and I lined my eyes with uh, Soap and Glory Super Can I use it so much that it is all worn off and uh, then I, I'm wearing the Girls Loud Nicola eyelashes. I'm gonna look down again because I love the effect that these give when you look down. It's just really, really good. And what else? On my lips, I have the Hourglass uh, Nude. What is it called? Femme Nude, Nude number three. Linen Liner, I'm panicking. This is my last one. I bought so many of these and this is my last one and I don't think they sell it anymore. If anyone sees it anywhere, tell me. I'm, I'm, I will do anything to get it. This is my favorite liner. And uh, on top of that, I have a little tiny bit of Max Lip Gloss in Lust. Oh, and eyebrows. Uh, Laura Mercier, Soft Brow Definer, Wax. Love this for eyebrows. This little pot will, in personal use, this will last for 10 years, I think. And yeah, mascara, uh, maquillage, volume and length. And I think that was it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week with my iconic blondes look.